Paul Begley here. Hey, breaking news. I'm just breaking in right now. Uh, I've received some information from Philip out of Alabama and Stephen out of Oklahoma um, and some other folks as well. Look, here's what's happening. I think you're going to hear any time now that the president, um, Ali, 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 Ali Shalei of Yemen has died. You're going to hear this soon because, first of all, they said he wasn't hurt. Then they said, well, he was slightly wounded. Then they said, wait a minute, we had to take him to Saudi Arabia. Then we heard he had to have surgery. Now we're hearing 40% of his body is severely burned. And just now they're saying his lung has collapsed. And I see that also in this information that I received from Philip. So as this is taking place, it looks like, truthfully, I believe the guy is already dead. And we're getting a slow response, a slow, a slow release. This is to give... The United States government and other governments a chance to get their hands on that government. Now, I'm understanding at the same time that it, they're in Tripoli, Libya, that NATO is just bombing and bombing and bombing the compound there in Tripoli. Uh, Muammar Gaddafi's staff is fleeing. The, they're running. They're running. They're running. They're defecting. They're running. It's over. He is saying, I will stay here dead or alive. I'm, I will fight to the death. It's because I think he's already dead. And I think you have the same situation going on. While they're bombing the compound, they already know he's dead. They're getting their hands on the government. They're getting rid of defectors. They're getting their hands on the situation. So it's all coming together. D Daniel chapter 11 is happening. I've been telling this since the riots began in, uh, in Egypt. But actually, go all the way back. You guys know what happened at Ivory Coast. Then Tunisia fell. Then Egypt fell. Now Libya's fallen, and, and uh, Yemen is falling, and next is Syria. And keep an eye on Jordan, and don't think Saudi Arabia is completely out of it. I'm telling you, this thing is unraveling. And why is it? Because it's in the Bible. Let me read to you again. Daniel chapter 11, verse 41 through 45. The Antichrist spirit will rise in the land. you got to understand, the Muslim Brotherhood just announced today in Egypt that they are now a national party of Egypt for the first time since 1954. Are you serious? The Muslim Brotherhood, they're going to put a man in. They're going to put a president, a new president will come. He'll be in the elections. They'll rig the thing. He will be the next president, and he will fulfill Dan the Bible's prophecy in Isaiah 19, 1 through 4, where it says that Egypt would fall that the idols would be moved out of the place in the presence of the Lord, and they stole eight idols out of King Tut's uh, collection there in that museum. Five have been recovered. Three are still missing. It says that there will be a new council that will take over, and the, the five generals that run that country right now, they call themselves the council, but it says they will be destroyed, or their reign will end, and a new leader will emerge. He's called a fierce king, a cruel lord, and he's coming from where, Paul? The Hamas. Now listen, let me read to you what it says about all these uprisings in the Middle East. It's in the Bible. Nobody wants to look at it. Here's what it says in Daniel chapter 11, verse 41. Now you know the end of this coming. Forget Harold Camping's predictions. These rapture dates means nothing. What mean? Well, I'll tell you what means something is Bible prophecy being fulfilled right before your eyes. Japan earthquake, Japan tsunami, Japan nuclear meltdowns, radiation. Don't you see it happening? Fish kills, birds falling out of the sky dead, fish dying everywhere, cattle pitching over, buffalo falling dead, deer falling over, bison and 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 antelopes. And thousands of eagles gathering together in Vancouver, Canada, eating dead carcasses of rats and scraps and poisonous things. These are Bible prophecies. And Damascus, it's in trouble. I mean, there's a beeline right now. Isaiah 17, 1 says that Damascus will no longer be a city, but a ruinous heap. If they keep sticking their nose in Israel's business, that's exactly what's going to happen to Damascus. Now listen, I'm prophesying this to you right now. You're Soon you're going to hear that Yemen's president, Ali Saleh is dead, and soon you will hear that Muammar Gaddafi is dead. And now President Assad in Israel is shaking, excuse me, in Syria is shaking in his boots. And here's why. Here's what it says in Daniel. The Antichrist spirit will rise, verse 41. He shall enter also into the glorious land. That's the holy lands. That's the land of Canaan. 
and many countries shall be overthrown. Huh? But these shall escape out of his hand, Edom, Moab, and the chief children of Ammon. He shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries. Is he not doing it? And the land of Egypt shall not escape. Did he not do that? But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and of silver. It's happening. They're getting their hands on the money as we speak. Even in Libya and in Yemen. Right now. That's what's going on in there. That's what the slow release of their death. The guy's probably been dead three days. And it says they're getting the treasures of the gold and silver. And over all the precious things of Egypt. And the Libyans. And the Ethiopians. Shall be in his steps. It's coming. It's coming. Are you saved? I had to break in today. Some of you are getting saved today already. We're, we're having a, Thank you. Some of you are obeying God. Thank you for your financial support today. Thank you. Others, I think the Holy Spirit spoke to you. I need you to come through and obey God. We now have 225 salvations and they're stacking up. God is moving. The Bible prophecies are being revealed. We are living in the last days. I need you to obey God and send a personal message to me right now. If you're not saved, send it right now. It says, I want to be saved. Do it now. Do it right now in Jesus' name.